We're going to talk about which plant-based foods contain vitamin B12, how much vitamin B12 you need each day, and why you actually need B12. Symptoms of B12 deficiency and why you don't need to worry too much about vitamin B12. You don't need to take supplements to get B12, but if you decide that you do want to take a supplement, your supplement should contain 100 micrograms of B12 so that you're getting enough. You'll never absorb all of the B12 you eat, even if you're a meat eater. So getting some extra B12 in your daily diet is really just a safeguard. Where does B12 come from? Well, B12 is a water-soluble vitamin, which is made by the bacteria in the intestines of animals we eat. And guess what? We're animals too. We have bacteria in our large intestines as well and our bacteria actually makes vitamin B12 for us too. This is why it's so important to eat plenty of plant foods high in fiber. You have millions of different types of bacteria in your gut and all of those bacteria live on different types of fiber. Fiber is their food. So if you want to feed them, you need to eat a wide variety of different plant foods containing fiber. A wide variety of bacteria need a wide variety of fibre foods to thrive. If you have a healthy gut, you'll be getting plenty of vitamin B12 because your own gut bacteria will make it for you and your body will actually store it. If this is the case, why do people become deficient? Well, the answer is really simple. Over the last couple of hundred years, we've actually wiped out half of the bacterial strains in our gut with a combination of antibiotics, antiseptics, and a highly processed food diet. A combination of processed foods, a clean lifestyle, and antibiotics is the reason we have unhealthy guts. So you see, switching to a plant-based diet, rich in fiber, will actually help to repopulate our guts with good bacteria, which in turn will make vitamin B12 for us. So which plant-based foods can you eat that do contain vitamin B12? And this is specifically for a vegan or plant-based diet. Some breakfast cereals are enriched with vitamin B12. Just make sure that when you're buying a breakfast cereal enriched with B12, that you're getting a cereal that is less processed and doesn't contain an ocean of ingredients. Some plant-based milks are also enriched with B12 and is a great way to boost B12 levels. Some plant-based meats are also enriched with vitamin B12. Nutritional yeast contains B12 when it's been enriched. We actually have a video on nutritional yeast, so I'll link that in the comments below. You can also use nutritional yeast to make um, vegan cheese or you can make vegan sauces and dips. Foods that do contain brewer's yeast, or yeast in general, do have B12. Some examples are Marmite or Vegemite. Finally, spirulina contains B12, and spirulina is a blue-green algae. It is rich in many nutrients, but it's also a very rich source of vitamin B12. Why is vitamin B12 such an important nutrient? Vitamin B12 is needed for red blood cell division and nerve production. If someone is very deficient, they can develop anemia and irreversible nerve damage. These conditions are serious, but they do take quite a while to develop. Our body actually stores B12 for many years. And if you have a healthy gut and you're eating some B12 each day, you should never become deficient. Causes of vitamin B12 can include autoimmune disease, some medications which can disrupt the absorption of nutrients, poor gut health, as we spoke about earlier, and the symptoms of vitamin B12 deficiency are neurological symptoms like tingling or burning, depression, irritability, insomnia, forgetfulness, anemia, shortness of breath, pale skin, and tiredness. If you're starting a plant-based diet, it would be wise to take a supplement containing all vitamins and minerals in a daily multi, just until your body has adjusted and your gut is healthier. So let us know in the comments, how do you get your B12? And did you know that your own gut will make B12 for you? We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.